Hi, Tony here. Welcome to the channel where today you find me at Hull Beach Motorcycle Tyres in Lincolnshire and I'm here to take you through Dunlop's entire range of adventure tyres. Let's get inside and take a look. Okay, so I'm now inside the workshop at Hull Beach and these are the five tires that we're gonna be taking a look at. I'm gonna go from the most road biased tire, if you like, up to the most off-road biased tire. So we're gonna start with the Meridian, onto the Mutant, then the Mission Raid and the D908RR. I've got experience of riding three of these five tires so I can give you some honest feedback on what these are like. But let's start off with the most road bias one, which is the Trailmax Meridian. Now, the thing about this tire is, it looks like a sports touring tire, but it's not. It was designed with adventure bikes in mind, and Dunlop have taken a very different approach to this as they would do to their standalone sports touring tires. In terms of ratings, if we're gonna go down that rating style, this would be a 90-10 tire, effectively. So predominantly road biased, but it will work on dry gravel, and that's because of these ice axe tread patterns that have been used in here, which gives you good grip on tarmac as well as gravel and dirt. One of the important things to stress about this tire is that they've also been designed to give even wear. Quite often on adventure bikes, the front tire will wear quicker than the rear tire, and these have been designed as a pair front and rear to wear evenly so you're not in a situation where you're finding you've got a, a pointed front tire and you're going to need to change that whilst you've still got plenty of life in the rear. One other thing to note about these tires is they are what Dunlop call multi-tread and what I'll call dual compound. So we've got a softer compound on the shoulders to give good cornering grip and we're getting a harder compound in the centre so that the tire wears less over time. So what bikes does this tire best suit? Well, in reality, any adventure bike that's gonna spend the majority of its time on tarmac, but likes to venture off onto the gravel now and again. There's obviously limitations with this tread in terms of where you can go off road, and mud and places like that is not gonna work. But for the majority of your riding, these are gonna offer really good wet weather performance, really nice grip and a long and even wear. Now to give a little bit of anecdotal evidence, I had these fitted on my KTM 790 Adventure. For anybody who watches my channel, you'd see that I did a trip over to Poland uh, to visit the site where my father was a prisoner of war. I did over two and a half thousand miles in 10 days and these tires went from three or four degrees wet, greasy mountain pass roads to luckily at the end of the trip, 25 degree hot tarmac through Northern France, and they were absolutely faultless. Now, I'm not just saying this because I'm making this video. I found these tires to be excellent for the trip that I did, very confidence inspiring, particularly on those cold, damp mountain passes. The bike was fully loaded, lots of luggage, and the one thing I didn't have to worry about was the grip from the tires. All I had to worry about was the road surface and the other road users. So. From my point of view, this is a really good all-purpose tyre, particularly for touring on big adventure bikes. On to the next tyre, which is the Mutant. This I would class more as an 80-20 tyre, but it is essentially an all-weather touring tyre with very good wet performance. So who does this tire suit? Well, although we are looking at a range of adventure tires, actually this tire is a bit of a crossover and will work on naked bikes, uh, sports touring bikes, everything. The one 
thing to note is that this isn't available in a 21 inch so if you're riding a venture bike with a 21 inch wheel the mutant is not an option and that's not because dunlop couldn't be bothered to do it it's because of the design of this tread pattern they did try to work it into a 90 section tire and they weren't happy with the way that this was dispelling water so they decided we're not going to kind of fudge it we're just not going to offer it in that 21 inch so if you have got that bigger front wheel this is not going to work for you but if you're riding anything with a 19 inch wheel and down this is a really good option i actually have these fitted on my interceptor 650 and i must admit the change from the oem tires to these was the most dramatic i've seen in any tire change i've done the grip the confidence the braking the handling everything improved dramatically when i put these tires on and they look really good too Right, moving on now to the middle tire in the range, the Mission. This I would class as a 70-30 tire, so it's gonna take you further, obviously, than the Mutant. Um, but there's a couple of little secrets about this tire which make it much more capable than you would first imagine. Obviously, you can see the, the blocks are, are bigger on this, so you've got nice road manners and you've got a decent amount of grip off-road. But there's a couple of little bits, as I say, you've got this little step in one of the blocks here which helps with grip and you've got bigger lugs on the side here which uh, help you drive out of ruts and, and you can actually use the side of the tire to get some extra grip in tricky situations. So this will actually take you further off road than you would potentially think from looking at it but predominantly it is a very rugged, robust, hard wearing tire. To give you a little bit of anecdotal evidence, uh, Levy and Ollie are, are a couple who are traveling around the world on a V-Strom 1050. They left with a set of these on from the UK and they didn't need to change those tires until they got to Argentina. So I think that says quite a lot about the hard wearedness of this. They are a really tough tire, they are heavy, there's no flex in the sidewalls, apparently they are an absolute bugger to fit. Again, if we're looking at who this tire is gonna suit, it's gonna be any adventure bike really, and those that are doing lots of miles in very mixed, tough conditions, this is gonna be the one for you. Hard wearing, good grip off road, still a good uh, tire on road, pretty quiet, loads of grip, uh, a good all rounder. Okay then, on to what is the latest tire in this range, the Trailmax Raid. This is a 50-50 tire, and it is actually the first true 50-50 adventure tire that a Dunlop have put out. You can see from the block tread pattern that we've got more gaps than we had in the mission. So this should give better grip in looser surfaces and will clear mud and everything else out much easier than the other tire. There's a higher silica content in the compound. So again, very good grip on tarmac. So this really could almost be seen as a true do-it-all tire. It will take you a pretty long way off-road. It will give you plenty of confidence there but it's also not compromised in its road handling either. So if you want the ability to be able to tackle off-road stuff, travel on dirt, rud, rocks, whatever it may be, this will do it. But if you're going touring, this will work as well. Again, if we're looking at the bikes that it suits, any adventure bike really, it's gonna fit that really nicely. I've got a set of these on the Africa Twin and they have been amazing. At the moment I'm up to around about a thousand or so miles on them. I've ridden them a little bit off road, simple graded trails, but on a big bike like the Africa Twin, they gave me plenty of confidence. I've also done some road touring on them, including in heavy rain, and they performed much, much better than I was expecting. When you've got a tire that's got knobs like this, you kind of expect them to be a bit skittish on the road. Not at all with these. This has quite rightly become a tire I think that a lot of adventure guys are looking at now. I know from when I fitted them on the bike and feedback I've had from the channel that a lot of friends I know ride Triumph Scramblers and no kind of more retro style bikes. They're all over these as well. So yes, the USP for this tire is that it is a true 50-50 tire. You can use it off-road, you can use it on-road. And actually, when you look at it compared to the next tire that I'm gonna talk about, 
you can see some similarities. The tread pattern on this very much influenced what was going on here. So that leaves us to head on to the last tire. Okay, so as I teed up there, we're onto the last and the most off-road focused tire, the D908RR, with the RR standing for Rally Raid. These are a pure off-road enduro tire. They are road legal, which could be important to you, but these are purely designed for the ultimate off-road conditions that you're gonna come across. The tire's got a really big, wide block pattern, excellent for grip, lots of grip off of all of these edges, but also a tire that will clear very quickly as well. And it's an incredibly robust tire too. You're not gonna have to worry too much about smacking it against the side of rocks. This is a, a, a solid thing as you'll ever come across. One thing to note about this tire is because it is essentially a pure enduro tire, are the sizes. It is only available in an 18 inch rear and a 21 inch front, so that could affect the fitment. If you're riding a Tenere 700, uh, KTM 890 Adventure R, something like that, this is gonna be perfect. If you're running with a smaller 17 inch rear wheel, it's not gonna work for you. Now I've given some anecdotal riding evidence on the other tires. Uh, these I've not yet had a chance to ride on. I have got aspirations to go a little bit further off-road if I can sort myself out with the right bike. So I think I will get an opportunity to choose these. They might even go quite nicely on my 790 Adventure if I decide to turn that into something that's a little bit more green lane friendly. But overall, a really robust enduro tire for those off-road guys that want to explore further and further. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful, but more importantly, informative. As you see, we've gone through every single tire in the adventure range of Dunlop. It's a huge range, you've got something for everyone. As I say, if you're just gonna be predominantly on the road with a little bit of dry gravel, the Meridian is an excellent choice. The Mutant's a great all-round, all-weather tire, which will give you some off-road performance as well. Uh, then you've got the Mission and the Raid, if you want to go that little bit further off-road, the Raid obviously taking you further than the Mission will with the extra grip that that provides. And then if you're pretty much dirt only, but still want to be able to ride little bits on the tarmac, then the uh, D908RR is the one to go for. So if you have got any questions, if there's anything that you've picked up on that you'd like to know more about, just let me know in the comments section down below. And all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.